in this video we have a very simple table that contains uh, three columns id color and computer id and we need to count the number of uh, computer ids if the computer id is equal to red and the green color so for example here you can see the id is 101 and the color is red and again if you see the computer id is 101 and the color is green so we will count uh, this computer id as 1 and again if you see the second 102 the color is red and again for against 102 the color is green so uh, one for this and one for this so it will be two rows and uh, if you see uh, the computer id 103 the color is red but here the color is not green so we will not take uh, 103 id into account so the end result for uh, this table should be 2 so how we can write a measure according to this criteria let's go to the duck studio so that we can perform step by step so here is the duck studio and uh, we need to use here for example calculate table because we can't use um, filter here uh, the the reason is if i use filter uh, okay maybe i i can tell you uh, later that why i have used the calculate table instead of filter like a calculate table uh, here i need a uh, one column table that is values the column in which we are interested is computer id that we need to count uh, in the condition data color is equal to it's red this one and uh, if i execute so here you can see i'm getting one zero one two and three because we have three records that um, point to the red color and again uh, i need to copy and uh, here i have to use uh, for example i need to write one more function here uh, intersect so the first table is this one red and the second table is is green this one so if i execute so here you, here you can see we are getting 101 and 102 these two uh, records uh, belong to red and green if you look here so 101 and 102 is both are red and 101 102 both are green right so we have uh, we need to copy uh, this whole thing and uh, then we we can create one measure here result is equal to we need to use one function count rows and uh, then we need to provide this table this one so let me zoom it so here you can see this is the whole um, formula hit enter and if i drag so here you can see i am getting the result is 2 so now the question is why i am not able to use a filter here the problem is if i use here for example filter and the table is data and then i use our data color is equal to red this one and now if i execute so here you can see i'm getting uh, three columns id color and 
um, computer ID. So if I try to use here, for example, values, and uh, for the data I need here, computer ID, then I can't use the color here because uh, I can only use a field that belong to this table and it is one column table that is a computer ID so the data color is not available so if I execute I will get error that the color in the table cannot be determined right so this is one way the other way is you can use here for example summarize for the summarize we have to use here a filter and the table is data and then we need to use here condition data color is equal to red this one and uh, this is the filter and we need one column only that is data uh, computer id this one and if i execute so here you can see i'm getting computer id 102103 one column table and in the same way i need to copy control c and uh, here i can uh, use the same function intersect So the second parameter again, one table that is green here, this one. So here you can see I'm getting two records. So that's all. And then we again go to the um, Power BI desktop, click new measure. And uh, there is a result with summarize is equal to count rows and then we need to just paste it here so if i drag and drop here see i'm getting uh, with the summarize i'm getting the result in both ways either you can use the summarize either you can use the calculatable so this is how we can solve this problem. So if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. And if you have any question, please write in the comment section. Thank you. And if you know any other way to solve this, please write in the comments as well.